the site that many call the loudest in the NFL. We are inside GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago, predictably loud and raucous here at Arrowhead as their beloved Chiefs took field, and they are set to match up with the New York Giants. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. A nice little gift there to start the ball game as they will begin things at the 40-yard line. It's Mahomes rolling to his left. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Give him 32 on the play. I think that typically we expect teams to save their home run plays for later in the game when they feel like they have an advantage over a defense. But in this case, they thought they had the advantage right away and took the shot on the first play of the game and completed it successfully. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards Alaire. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL. And Clyde Edwards Alaire, with that low center of gravity and strength, he's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. And he's going to get this pretty close to the first down marker at the Giants' 20 yard line. Yeah, he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. They come up first and 10 at the 16. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. The last run got a couple. here, second and eight. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Flush to his right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. He's at the 50, the 30. 20, oh, it don't matter. 10, it don't matter. and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Well, we talked pregame about how we might have some twists and turns in this one, but how about this on the opening drive? Well, they had a pretty good drive working, didn't they? So you wouldn't expect this ending because what you were thinking was they were going to put it in the end zone themselves, not have it go the other direction. Gano the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play too. Well, that's into a sea of bodies and it's intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. 
And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visits. What do we hear during these drills? Pass. Pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. <laughs> that means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves. In the I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. A good pick up there, a 22. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. And he'll get three up to midfield. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? If it's kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From midfield, here's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And let's face it, you could put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. Now Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. He's got a man oh complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill. 47 yards. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now Jones. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Like a freight train there, Derek Nottie with a sack. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. 17 yards and a giant first down. Across the 43 extra yards to the 43. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Throwing Jones. That's complete to John Ross. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 19 yards there on the catch and run. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. This ball complete. Jones to Ingram. And brought down. 
down, but not before they're inside the 25. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Looked like the screen pass was taken away there, but what a nice job improvising, finding other options, and completing the pass anyway. First and ten, Jones, and that'll be incomplete. Kenny Galladay is intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and ten. stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Shepard. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14 to 7. Seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Back to throw again. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. Touchdown, Giants! <coughs> Saquon Barkley, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. Didn't have anything downfield, swung it out to the flat. He did the rest. Such a staple of so many offenses we see now. You know, in our discussions with offense coordinators, how many times do they tell us, hey, this offense is designed for either a touchdown or a check down? We saw the check down on that play, and boy, was this successful. We saw a touchdown, too. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. They go play fake. Mahomes, he'll buy some time right. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Yes, folks, that is his third interception, and I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because... There is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around a defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. Jones on first down. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 18 there, and the Giants have a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first down, Jones. He finds Ross right side. It's complete. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. From the four, it's second and a couple. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. 
Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Gano's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And with a three-score deficit staring them in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give them 19. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Demarcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. And that'll bring up second down. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Final shot before the half from the Holmes. Eluding the pressure right. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? That's a tough combination to defend. You know Patrick Mahomes has the big arm, and he's got the elusiveness and the speed. So even though you force him from the pocket, he's still dangerous. Bad idea, in my opinion, to force him from the pocket. Do everything possible to hem him in and make him make the throws from right there in the center of it. And look, we know he's got the big arm. You just noted that. But when he gets outside, it puts so much stress on your defense, trying to locate where receivers are, make sure you're covering them, and he can throw the ball the length of the field, so you just tell a receiver, just keep going. He'll find it, and he did there. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Looking to throw. Jones escaping the pressure right. Here's a diving catch right side. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. When you're a player of his stature, you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> Without a doubt. That's a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. Seven yards the pick up there. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. On second down, here's Barkley. Barkley a first down and more. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. You gotta catch them in the bathroom. Gano now like that. following the touchdown here to kick it away. That's why he's like two and he's going back. 
Cause they waiting, man. This will be a touchback as Ed sails. These niggas have babies out every three days or some shit. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they get to the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. A good first down call as the screenplay gets them nine. On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10, right at the 40. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 38, the 20, 10, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, Start loosening up. I think I'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. So they'll get another shot on that picks up, and now the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And going to pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit, but maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Dexter Lawrence drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. <laughs> Mahomes and the offense staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Mahomes throwing on fourth. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And got his man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 45 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First and 10, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Second and 14. 
Throwing now is Mahomes. Gets this one to Hill. Hill's hit, and he lost the football. And who's got it? The Giants! And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over, following the fumble recovery. Barkley on first down, going to work his way forward, only for about a couple there. Tackle made there by Frank Clark. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 10 yards, good for a giant first down. They'll try and run some clock here with Barkley. There he goes again, and he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. A gain of six there on first. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. They'll roll him out. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Frank Clark fighting his way home to get the sack. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. 101 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. That one looks like he'll throw here. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. I'm not sure what other ground there is to cover here. I mean, this offense has been amazing. Just total domination, Charles. They've clicked so well, and if you really focus in on the offensive hey, line, they protect you. See, this would look like we piss off old tree too. The line of scrimmage when they wanted to run it. Smiles all the way around. This offense has been really good in this one. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Oh, it don't matter. It don't matter. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> but Travis Kelsey, the 40, 30. And he's able to get this down deep on the Giants' side of the field. 
Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Completes it to Hardman. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Seven yards to pick up there. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And they'll have the football but deep in their own territory as he's brought down at the five. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Barkley, toss play left. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Back to throw. Jones flushed out right. Open man is Ross complete. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 25 yards there on the catch and run. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll get this one to Galladay. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. To throw again on second down. Jones. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Again, he'll drop to throw. Now he's got it. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. to his right and he takes it in for the score on the game's final play so it doesn't affect the outcome but a little whipped cream on top to their ending or as our friends in bayou country would say that's a little land yeah a little extra on top well charles it's one thing to win it's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did boy were they clicking on offense they can't help but feel great about themselves can they i mean what a game to put up that number of points continually feel like they're